Welcome to an example of integration by parts. Integration by parts is an integration technique used when the integrand is a product. The integration by parts formula is given here, where the given integral is the integral of u dv, which is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. So the idea is we'll let part of the integrand be equal to u. Once we identify u, we'll find differential u by differentiating. The remaining part of the integrand must be dv, so once we identify dv, we'll integrate in order to find v. Once we have all these pieces, we'll apply the integration by parts formula, and then hopefully this integral here will be easier to integrate. And the guidelines for choosing u and dv are number one, choose u so that du is simpler than u, and choose a dv that is fairly easy to integrate. So let's take a look at our example. We have the integral of x cosine four x dx. So let's begin by letting u equal x. Well, if we let u equal x, differential u would just be one dx or dx. So notice that du is simpler because the derivative of x was just one, which means the remaining part of the integrand must be dv. So in this case, dv would have to be cosine four x dx. So if dv is equal to cosine four x dx, well, to integrate this, define v. So to show some extra work here, v would be equal to the integral of cosine four x dx. Notice how this would require substitution. Since we've already used u, let's use w. If we let w equal four x, Notice that dw would be equal to four dx. So if we divide both sides by four, we can say that dx is equal to one fourth dw. So v would be equal to the integral of cosine w, where again dx is equal to one fourth dw. So v would be equal to one fourth sine w, or one-fourth sine four x. And now we can apply the integration by parts formula. So the given integral of x cosine four x dx is equal to u times v, which would be x times one-fourth sine four x, or one-fourth x sine four x, minus the integral of v du, so we'd have minus the integral of one-fourth sine four x dx. And this looks good because now we can integrate this using u substitution where u would be equal to four x, and therefore differential u would be four dx. Again, dividing both sides by four, notice dx is equal to one-fourth du. So we could write this as one-fourth x sine four x minus one-fourth, and then for the integral, we'll have sine u but again, dx is equal to one-fourth du, so let's factor out the one-fourth, and then we have du. So finally, we have one-fourth x sine four x. This would be minus one-sixteenth times integral of sine u, but the integral of sine u would be negative cosine u, so this would be plus one-sixteenth and then cosine u would actually be cosine four x, and then plus c. So this would be our antiderivative using integration by parts. I hope you found this helpful.